Yeah, hi everyone. So let's look at this next, uh, next question from Cat Twenty Twenty One Slot Three. It is yeah. So okay, this is uh, this is a good question actually. But uh, in this question, I'll not make any equations. Okay, so we'll do this question by ratio method. So understand this by ratio and by understanding the question, you can solve it. Okay, so understand this. Eh? So one day Rahul started a work at nine a.m. and Gautam joined him two hours later. So Rahul started a work at nine a.m. and Gautam joined him two hours later. Then the work they work together and completed the work at five p.m. the same day. Okay, that means see, if example now there are two guys here, Rahul and Gautam. Okay, now what Rahul did? So Rahul started the work at nine a.m. and he completed the work at five uh, p.m. That means Rahul worked for eight hours. So Rahul worked for eight hours. Okay, and Gautam joined him two hours later. So Gautam joined at eleven a.m. And the work was finished at five p.m. That means Gautam worked for six hours. So Gautam worked for six hours in the first case. So when Rahul will work for eight hours and Gautam will work for six hours, the total work will get completed. Okay, that's the funda. Great. Now let's look at the uh, next part here. If both had started at nine a.m. and worked together, then the work would have been completed thirty minutes earlier. So. If both would have started at nine a.m., right? So that means in the second case, now this is for Rahul and this for Gautam. Okay. In the second case, now what happens? If Rahul starts at nine a.m., the work would be finished in uh, that is four hour in uh, thirty minutes earlier, right? That is at four thirty. That means in this case, Rahul will work for seven hours thirty minutes, है ना? And seven uh, hours and thirty minutes, right? And now in the second, this is for Rahul and another. So if Gautam also starts at nine a.m. because it is, it is written that both started at nine a.m. So if Gautam also starts at nine a.m., he finishes at four thirty, na. So now again Gautam also will for will work for seven thirty hours. Okay, the second case and again total work will get completed. Okay, so now this after that is a very common sense kind of question. Okay, so just apply common sense here, guys. You understand that if both works for okay, so if both will work for seven thirty and seven thirty hours, the work will get completed, है ना? Now in the second case, now if Gautam works for one and half hours less, okay, so what happens here? From this case to this case, if you compare, Gautam is working one point five hours less, okay. And if now Gautam is working one point five hours less here, okay. Gautam is working for one point five hours less, and to compensate, if now Gautam is working for one point five hours less, then Rahul needs to work for point five hours more. Okay. So if you compare from this case to this case, so Gautam is working for one point five hours less. So Rahul is working for point five hours more. That basically means what? That basically means that the work which has if if W was the work left here, so Gautam is working for one point five hours less, and then Rahul can do the work that that work in point five hours only. That means Gautam's one point five hours work. Okay. Can be done by Rahul. Can be done by Rahul in point five hour in point five hours only. Okay, that means time taken by Rahul to time taken by Gautam. That ratio is point five to one point five. That ratio is one is to three. है ना? This ratio is one is to three. So that basically means that now I know that work is constant. So whenever work is constant, so whenever work is constant, okay, efficiency is always inversely proportional to time. Obviously, more is the efficiency, less is the time taken. Efficiency means your work output. What what is your work output? Okay, if work output per day is more, time taken will be less. So their ratio of efficiency will be. Efficiency of Rahul to efficiency of Gautam, that ratio will be three is to one. Reverse of that. Okay. Now it basically means that if they combine their efficiency with four efficiency, they can finish the work in seven hours thirty minutes. So with four efficiency, seven hour thirty minutes. So with one efficiency, it takes seven thirty into four. That is equal to thirty hours. Correct, right? Obviously, 
that basically means that if efficiency is decreased four times efficiency is inversely proportional time so if with four efficiency it takes seven hours 30 minutes with one efficiency so efficiency has reduced four times so time will be four times now because time is inversely proportional to efficiency and right? so at one efficiency it takes 30 hours okay it one if at one efficiency it takes 30 hours right so now i want to i i want to find the time taken by rahul to complete the work so rahul efficiency is 3 here and it is 3 so at one efficiency it is 30 hours so at three efficiency now efficiency has become three times now so time will reduce three times that is 30 by 3 is equal to 10 hours that means at three efficiency it takes 10 hours that's the answer okay so you find many such questions in time and work chapter okay so just try to from next time try to do this kind of question mentally then you'll get the logic okay so just try to do this kind of uh, question mentally this is very very important okay so, so what, now if you get this concept and you read this question now it becomes a fairly easy question okay it says that rahul at 9 am and gotham two hours later work is finished in 5 pm you can simply say rahul 8 and gotham 6 then both started at 9 am that means both 7 30 7 30 so you can, you can do in your mind only that got gotham worked for 1.5 hours less and to compensate that work rahul needed to work for 0.5 hours more okay so what is the ratio their time ratio is 1 to 3 efficiency ratio is 3 is to 1 4 efficiency combined 4 efficiency time taken is 7 hour 30 minute okay then at 1 efficiency 30 hours okay then at 3 efficiency 10 hours 10 hours is the answer I hope you got this right okay thank you okay and many of you were asking for some offer okay and so this they offered launch just now seeing the current scenario that is March so from March there's a nine month subscription on which till 31st 31st March you get this offer of three months free so in the cost of nine months you get that 12 month subscription and that is actually uh, you just need to apply a referral code Ravi Roda here and you get this in this price actually okay so apart from all the live classes so every uh, every day i take some four hours of live classes so apart from all the live classes those who don't prefer live classes those who, those who want to get uh, rec or watch only recordings when see many people prefer live class also because the doubts get cleared there you don't get bored in the class okay so all those things are the benefits of live classes but if you don't want live classes then there is some on if it about only my course then 700 plus lrda sets of high quality lrda sets uh, of high quality and some 3000 uh, questions uh, 3000 plus quant questions this is only mine that is solved by me actually okay this is only my course are available available at an academy and apart from this you get all the mocks so all the mocks there is some practice session of 8000 around 20 plus mocks will be getting there is some practice section so there are some 9000 only in quant so 9000 questions in quant plus in lrdi plus uh, i think total more than 15k questions are available okay in the practice section so no book is required apart from that there are top quality uh, top verbal faculties are there okay so you can study verbal uh, so basically all in in one subscription it's it works like netflix okay so all you get in only one subscription so this is offered till this offer is valid till 31st march so you can use this okay thank you